down the hammer and pick up the pencil. You're about to listen to the Savvy Radio Show. Learn from real life real estate investors, experience revealed with the Savvy Landlord as your host. What's going on, Savvy Investors? This is your friend, Steve Van Kallenberg, the Savvy Savvy Somebody, the Savvy Landlord. I want to be savvy. You want to be savvy. Savvy is knowing what's right and what's wrong. I don't even know what I'm saying. So we just going to stop right there. Beep, stop right there. Anyway, you tuned in. And today, I don't know if it's really real estate related, but I've been researching and reading and soul searching and they put me on the internet and I found this article and I was like, oh, I need to talk about that. Well, here's the actual title of the article. It's called 25 Uncomfortable Things You Need to Do If You Don't Want to Regret Your 20s. Well, I missed the 20s a while back, and it's on this website called Thought Catalog, and honestly, I have no earthly idea how in the world I got on this website somehow, but the title really motivated me to read this stuff, and I sent it to a friend, and he was like, bam, and I said, okay, since you said bam, I'm going to knock it off on a podcast. And so here we go. 25 uncomfortable things you need to do if you don't want to regret your twenties. Well, I'm 44 years old, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and you don't want to have regrets. Trust me. Number one, have the courage to say when something isn't working. Hmm. Pretty simple. Straight out the gate. You got to fail to succeed. So have the courage to say when something isn't working, this relationship's not working. This is not working. Number two, have the courage to commit when something is, when something is, I don't know what that means, but I think it's a problem with society. This is obviously written towards people that are 20 years old. This was article was written in 2017, September, but a lot of people, I think a lot of millennials are not committing And if you got to commit, you know, I always worried the same thing in life, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. I thought I was going to be a computer engineer. I thought I was going to live in California. Never knew that I would be in Oklahoma. I never knew that I'd be living my dream. I never knew that I'd be in real estate. And for sure, I never knew I'd be on a podcast. What the F? But you have to have a career. I committed to this podcast for one year. I committed to doing this many episodes. I've committed to building wealth. I've committed to live the life by design. So number three, take a look at yourself and ask if I stop growing tomorrow, is it, is this the person I'd want to be for the rest of my life? Bam. Take a look at yourself and ask if I stop growing tomorrow, is this the person I'd want to be the rest of my life? Interesting. Number four, decide what doesn't matter. Decide what doesn't matter. So you can invest in your time and money into what does. Bomb, bomb, decide. I'm telling you at 44 years old, see, I'm glad someone wrote this to all you young ones out there, but that's what I decide and think every day right now. What matters? What does it matter? What am I doing? Where is this going? Where do I want to be? Number five, think regularly about how you would live your life if social media didn't exist, if you weren't documenting your every move, or if you didn't have a glossy edited pictures to compare yourself to. Bam. I'm no comment. Number six, stop overreacting. Amen. And amen. That is so true. Stop overreacting. I'm telling you the stuff that I'm enduring uh, at this point in my life, I don't understand what's going on, but I can't overreact. I can only do and perform the very best that I can. Number seven, have something to talk about that isn't other people and you and your judgment of them. (sighs) Conviction right there. Have something to talk about. The cool thing is talk about business, talk about real estate, talk about something else. Number eight, stop worrying about in inane, innate, inane things like whether or not you are fat. <laughs> I need to Google up inane. If you're fat, nobody will, will be at your funeral blessing your life because you maintain one pant size. <laughs> How you look is not accomplishment. Amen to that. How you look is not accomplishment. I mean, I need to hear this today. Hopefully this inspires you. Number nine, ask questions. Bing, bing. About other, about other people more than, uh, and then make the statements about yourself. 
So don't basically do the Dale Carnegie, you know, this is the groundbreaking book, life change book, how to win friends and influence people. I'm actually dipping into that book right now. It's so freaking freaky that I'm actually ripping that book from a CD that I found in my closet. And it's number nine, ask questions about other people, get other people engaged and drop yourself. Number 10, stop trying to have the most nuance, nuance, complex opinions more than you try to be kindness, more empathetic person, you know, cool. All right. I don't want to break that down because I can barely speak. Number 11, cut yourself some slack. One of the biggest regrets most people have about their twenties is that they didn't enjoy them more. Amen. And I'm not talking about buy more expensive dinners, take another trip to Thailand type of enjoyment. I I mean, having the ability to take a deep breath, sip coffee in the morning, knowing that you have done and you, what you're doing in your is your best. Interesting. I think, you know, when I read that number 11, cut yourself some slack, you know, they always, the, I, I learned this, uh, you know, I, I love to read and I read a lot in business books. They say on your deathbed, they say, did I, I can spend more and more, you know, you ask, you ask yourself, should I spend more and more out one more hour with, you know, in the office or one more hour with your family, you know, enjoy what you've done. I just hung out with my homie earlier and he's bought a brand new car and most people think it's expensive. I don't know. I really don't care, but it brings joy to him. I know that doesn't go in, in line there, but cut yourself some slack. If you do want a specific item or you want to do, you know, set a budget and go do it and live the dream you want to live and do it now, not later. You hear me? Do it now, not later. Number 12, this is what made me do the podcast. Read books. You know, another homie called me today and he said, I lived 10 years in the dark until I met you. Ow. God, my life, I'm getting fulfilled today. And he's like, man, since I graduated college 10 years ago, I never cracked a book. And when I first met you, that's all you told me to do is to read and read more and read. And I, it just humbled me today. And I was like, you know, thanks, homie. I needed that. I needed that word. And, you know, and I was just telling him, I was confessing that I've been struggling. I've been fighting the fight and I'm burned out and I'm pissed <laughs> that I'm mad. And. I don't want to say depression, but I've been like, man, struggling. And you know what got me out of it? I've actually started reading about it. But what got me out of that deal was I started reading again on a regular basis. I started reading. And if you've been following me on Twitter, I've, I've been like, you know, how does this dude read this many books? You know, I'm, I'm going all over the place. But I'm telling you, reading has set me free. You need to read. This is the message that you needed to hear today. You need to read. Number 13, learn how to be nice. Damn right. This is the most insanely powerful life hack and yet the most overlooked. Learn how to genuinely be nice to people. Yes, you. This will get you further than anything else. Seriously, just be nice. Like, not only be nice, but like respond to people nicely. Like respond. Someone took the time to text you or email and you know you've seen it, right? I'm talking to you. You you, you got it. Hey, just respond and be nice and just say, got it. Thank you. Appreciate you. I couldn't do this without you. You know, my favorite thing that I like to tell people for real. I mean, this is an in, another insider to, to, to the psycho world of Van Calvert. This is it right here. I like to say these nice words right here. I appreciate you for real. I remember a pastor of a church hollered at me one day and sent me an email. I can't remember. And he genuinely said, I appreciate you. And I was like, no one's ever said that to me before. I appreciate you. So yeah, I got, we got to marinate real fast. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah. Wow. Be nice. Say that to your wife. Say that to your boyfriend. Just say in an email, yo, I appreciate you. Number 14, live so death has nothing to see to, to steal. Wow. Live. So death has nothing to steal, live, leave everything on the table. Don't hold back on your thoughts, your love, your creativity for one another. That paths leads you to become a fraction of the person you were meant to be. Come on. I, I, I'll get to this chick's name at the, or guy's name. I don't know who wrote this, but I'm just, 
I'm just juicy. Hopefully you get juicy. Yep. Number 15, stop saying you want to be in a forever relationship and be in one. Ooh, I guarantee a lady wrote this. Your soulmate relationship is something you build, not something you stumble upon. Come on, bring it, girl. If you don't figure this out, you will be permanently disappointed or perpetually disappointed by the person you end up with. Ooh, I got to say it again. 15, stop saying you want to be forever in a relationship and be in one. Come on. Stop stop playing the game. Your soulmate, your relationship is something you build, not something you stumble upon. If you don't figure this out, you perpetually be disappointed by the person you end up with. Ooh, you know, my mom used to say this to my brother. Your dream wife ain't going to be delivering a pizza to you. <laughs> you got to you can't be ordering pizza. You got to get out there and go love on people. You know, go go to the club, go meet somebody. Go meet them. Number 16, live within your means. If you don't learn to do this when you have little, you won't be able to do this when you have more. Come on, bring it, bring it. High earning people can also be the most indebted and financially unstable because they are always living just a bit outside of what they can afford, a.k.a. paycheck to paycheck. Let me read the first line. <clears throat> live within your means. There ain't nothing wrong with being wealthy. Just live within that means. If you want to buy this, you know, I love Rich Dad, Poor Dad because it's real simple. He's like, I wanted a Porsche and he just bought another asset to go buy the Porsche. And that's how I look. That's how I think. That's what I do. If I want to grow more, do more, take my family on another trip. I just figure, how can I, I love my boy Thomas. How could I make a, how could I do another wholesale deal? How could I make more money and go do it? Number 17, accomplishments don't change your life. Habits do. Come on. I, I didn't write this. I didn't, I didn't take no credit, but 17 accomplishments don't change your life. Habits do. And a habit of reading does 18, write a mission statement and use it as your guideline. God, this, this, this is like I'm at church. This is, this is exactly what I needed to hear today. Somebody needs to call me, text me, say, dude, this episode was bomb. I'm so glad you found it. G- give me the article. Yeah. I'm, I was going to post this article. I'm not going to post it. I'm, I want to see who's out there. That's that, that feels this vibe, write a mission statement and use it as your guideline Define your most essential values and make sure your thoughts, actions, decisions align with them. This is how you live an honest life. I'm telling you, man, this is where I'm at right now. I'm trying to figure out what my mission statement is. What am I trying to do? What's my legacy? I thought it was going to be worth 10 million. Now it's like worth nothing. Am I I making it? That's why I'm on the radio today. My goal is to empower people. So you become a millionaire. That's the savvy investor. That's my vibe. I got to write a mission statement for that. Listen, it's not about the Van Kallenberg team. It's about sharing the gift and the knowledge and that we can grow together. I'd rather take a lot, a lot of people, a little bit of a lot, you know, like 1%. Number 19. Ooh, I mean, I can't, I'm going to have my child read this. I need to put this in my Evernote. So I know to follow up with this when my child is 19 or maybe 18, but it says number 19, don't burn bridges, learn how to bow out of friendships, relationships, jobs, parties with grace man bring it this uh, this is something i always i always tell people you know <clears throat> i dated people and it didn't go well in high school but they can never say and i try to do this in my business relationships that, that van kallenberg didn't burn me or he didn't take me now people don't like me because i evict them people don't like me because i hold them to accountability like you you owe me because of this yeah uh-huh I, i'm 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 not a shrewd businessman. It may seem like it because, yep, I will sue you if you did not perform in the agreement. I mean, that's just biz- business in general. But I'm telling you down, I try never to burn a bridge and I try to bow out with grace, meaning they can't say Van Kallenberg did me wrong. You can say you don't like me because of maybe the way I talk or maybe because I love Jesus, but that's okay. I, I, you could, you could be whoever you want to be. You could be in any faith you want to be in. I, I don't judge you. That's not my job, but I'm not trying not to number 19. I'm trying not to burn no bridges. Number 20, ask for the truth. Bang, bang. Ask for the truth. I don't know why it's on there, but just always think of the truth. Number 21, be in the discomfort that's leading you to your bad habits be in the discomfort that's leading you in your bad habits whatever it is that's holding you back in your life is actually a symptom of some unmet need okay psychiatry figure out what it is and feed it 
in a healthy way. Your eternal issues will start to dissolve as you do. Cool. All right. A little wisdom there. Number 22, recognize the ways in which you've uh, projected blame on other on onto others. Hmm. Number 22 says, recognize the ways in which you've projected blame. On, yeah, for sure. Blame in other people. What you, okay. And it says quotes, what you love in people is what you love about yourself. What you hate in people is what you can't see in yourself. Ooh, drop the knowledge. Number 23, learn to seek purpose more than you do pleasure. Pleasure does not change your life. It makes discomfort bearable. Purpose makes discomfort worth it. Don't let comfort be your first virtue. Ooh, don't be lazy. I like it. Number 14, 24. I mean, home is where you make it. So make it somewhere. Hmm. Come on. 25, break free from the illusion that what you see is in, on Instagram is real life. <laughs> hey man, it is not real life. It is a highly corrugated as, aspirational Photoshop filtered vignette or vignette, whatever. You know how to say that. You know what's up. Anyway, t- oh, she said bonus on here and it was a lady. Yes. And it's in the, number 26 says, learn to be happy here now today. Amen. If you do not learn how to be happy in the present, no job, no partner, no success, no trip, no money, nothing you are working for will be enjoyable as you think. <clears throat> this girl's bomb. You cannot save up for happiness to be released when you think you deserve it. You either have it or you never, or you have it never. All right. This chick is bomb. If you're single, if this girl's single, you need to hook up with this girl. Her name is Brianna West. And that's B-R-I-A-N-N-A West or West or whatever. W-I-E-S-T. Brianna Girl, you bomb. Let I, I'm about to tag you in this because you you got it on locky lot. She's the author of the Salt Water. I guess that's a book, and she has some other stuff on this website. Anyway, check it out. Hopefully, this was inspiring for you. Hopefully, it was motivating. I'm going to put the girl's name on there so you can figure it out and you can find her. If you want the link to this, that's cool. I'll find it. I might just put it on there because give this girl some love. Anyway, my name is Steve Van Kalmberg. You tuned in to the Savvy Savvy Radio Show. Do these 25 things. Be uncomfortable. Go buy assets. Investor Weekend is not far off with over 10 information sessions to increase your portfolio. Log on to www.investorweekend.com. Whether you are a seasoned investor or never purchased a property before, you don't want to miss the Investor Weekend. Join us for a powerful, knowledge-packed weekend with over 10 informational sessions that are bound to enlarge your real estate investments. You will hear from the best national and local real estate investors that will share practical and relevant experiences with you, the investor. There will be several networking sessions to connect with other like-minded people for potential funding, partnerships, and yes, hot deals. Go to www.investorweekend.com. Did you know we meet once a month for the Landlord Lunch Meeting? The third Wednesday of every month, go to landlordlunch.com. Thanks for listening to the Savvy Radio Show. Glide online and listen to our other motivating episodes at SavvyRadioShow.com. Connect on Twitter at LandlordBook and always be buying assets. 